and Microsoft have now held premier presentations showcasing their next-gen hardware. Sure, the actual form factor of the PS4 may still be under wraps until E3, but both consoles have let loose a slew of tech specs and demonstrated their ultimate vision of the future of gaming and entertainment. While there are plenty of unknown details regarding these systems, most notably the finite details on both used games and online DRM, we want to focus on just the cold, hard facts. Xbox, go home. Unlike last generation's format war between HD, DVD, and Blu-ray, both the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One will house a Blu-ray player for reading games and movies. Each system also touts the feature of allowing gamers to immediately begin playing their games while it's still in the process of being installed, drastically shortening the downtime between purchase and play. Sorry Snake, your 15-minute smoke breaks are a thing of the past. We'll admit to experiencing the first-hand frustration of sitting down to play a game, only to be greeted with system update prompts that delay our initial playtime, primarily on the PlayStation 3 with both the download time and installation time keeping you from your game. While PlayStation Plus members have enjoyed the benefit of automatic updates, both the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 feature a suspended power state where updates and other downloads will be able to happen automatically. Eight gigabytes of high-speed unified memory. The more RAM, the better, right? 8GB of RAM is what the new consoles will house, and while there is a discrepancy between the PS4's 8GB of GDDR5 versus the Xbox One's 8GB of DDR3, there's also the question of how much this memory will be allocated to the games themselves. There are a number of different rumors and ratios currently flying around, and it'll be interesting to visibly see just how much a performance advantage the PS4's GDDR5 will provide. But until we can get solidly defined tech specs and simply see the games running in action, we can only speculate. You can browse uh, live game video of what your friends are doing at that exact moment. Ever make an impossible headshot from across the entire map or snatch the first place victory from your opponent at the very last second? Right now, gamers who wish to record and share those gaming moments would need to purchase video capturing accessories for their console. But this feature will now be built in. Though Microsoft didn't go into too much detail when it confirmed the Xbox One will have a video recording function, Sony's presentation showcased a recording feature that would keep the last several minutes of gameplay always available for games to replay, record, and save. Being able to upload and share videos straight from the PS4, along with live streaming your games, is also a big plus. Camera accessories like the Kinect and PlayStation Eye introduced a few interesting ideas for the 360 and PS3, but definitely fell far short of becoming a breakout necessity for console owners. Microsoft really seems to be placing a lot of confidence in their improved Kinect for Xbox One, with the system being completely designed with the device in mind. Voice commands and gesture navigation are a center point to the Xbox One's user interface, and you can expect a big push to implement the impressive tech into many games for the system. Sony is also trying their hand at focusing on an external camera accessory since the improved PS4 controllers feature a colored light bar on the front surface of the new PlayStation Eye to read. Outside of being able to read the positioning of players in the room from reading the controller's light bar, Sony didn't disclose too many details about the new PlayStation Eye. Will it be just as feature heavy as the Kinect? We'll see at E3. Oh, it worked. <laughs> Jerry's a chicken. When it comes to the next gen, there's still a lot of unknowns, not the least of which is how used games will work with more rumors and speculation dropping on almost a daily basis. We hope to hear a lot more about these upcoming consoles at E3, and we'll be looking at the remaining mysteries.